Hey everybody, it's Suzanne from Home of Soaps. Okay, um, now I'm going to finally get to my kelp soap. And um, my I'm soaping at about 85 degrees. And um, my lye is ready to be poured into my oils. I'm making a big batch. It's a uh, hundred ounces. And um, that should keep me going for a while. Um, now that winter is over with, yay! Uh, the flea markets and stuff will be getting busy, so I want to make sure I have enough. And um, so I've made the, a large five pound. I'm going to be making the five pound. Uh, loaf mold and like I said this is a hundred ounces in here is castor oil coconut butter coconut oil olive oil palm oil shea butter soybean oil and sunflower oil and let's get this to trace teaspoon of kelp powder and one ounce of coconut milk and one quarter teaspoon of bentonite clay I was going to do two milks half and half one goat's milk and one coconut milk an ounce of each but then I decided I'll just keep this coconut make it simple today now the sea kelp Smells like yucky. Smells fishy. Smells like the sea. So, right now this doesn't have the greatest fragrance, but I do have my fragrance and it's sandalwood and rose. And I'll be putting that in. And a little bit titanium dioxide.
Hmm. I am looking for green. Okay. Um, I'll keep this green. Is the sea kelp is green? I think I make this one really white. Keep that one green. Let's mix it up a little bit. be more white. Sandalwood and Rose. just not pour in too deep because I don't want to mess things up here. To use the spatula is kind of like a buffer.
okay. I um I was gonna build it up a little bit more, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it as is. And what I was going to do is um, bring up the sides a little bit, but I think for this kelp soap, it's a, a, a natural looking, all the soaps are natural, but uh, it, it's just a nice looking soap. Fresh, neat, clean, not a lot, not glitter, not anything, no piping or anything like that. So that's basically it. It's a very easy soap to make. It's good for you. Um, so let me tell you about the kelp really quick here. Um, I have thyroid problems, so I do take the capsules myself, but I have been making this for a while. It has, um, this is not from me, this is from research that I've done. So, but it, we all know that uh, kelp contains iodine, and it is good um, to restore balance to your thyroid gland, which in turn helps with weight loss or weight management. Um, if you're hypo, that's under active thyroid, if that is your problem, you have a tendency to, your metabolism is kind of sluggish and you have a tendency to not be able to lose weight. If you're hyper, it's an overactive thyroid gland and you have a tendency to be uh, thin and you can eat anything you want and you have, can't gain weight and usually your eyes are, you know, bigger, rounder, larger, not bulging, but, you know, bigger like that. And those are uh, people that suffer from hyperthyroidism. So um, I did in the past, I took Synthroid and that was doctor, you know, prescribed from my doctor. And I took that for the longest time since the 90s. Um, and then um, the place where my husband worked, um, they went bankrupt and we lost our health insurance. So um, it put us in a kind of a bad situation. But um, through the years, I ended up uh, just putting uh, myself on kelp, which sometimes is not good to do that, and a lot of times it's not good to diagnose yourself or treat yourself, but um, I didn't have really much choice, and I did a lot of reading, and um, I know that kelp is good for you, and it's also good for healthy hair, nails, and skin, and it's considered a body balancer. And it's a promoter of the adrenal gland, pituitary gland, and thyroid gland health. So these, so like the kelp is just a promoter of good health for these glands. Not the only thing you should do. You should see your doctor. But, um, and this is all for the inside of the body, of course. And it is good. It aids, uh, helps you in um, digestion. Um, people with heart conditions such as high blood pressure, pressure, respiratory disorders, rheumatoid arthritis, hypertension, uh, and um, the benefits of the sea kelp can have additional benefits um, like increased um, enhancing the brain development. Uh, it can help you with osteoporosis prevention of it. It can help you with anemia and elevation of impotence and kelp has also been shown to detoxify and eliminate heavy metals and toxins um, it helps to purify the blood and that's the main thing you have to keep in mind here with this is printed up from a source online but um, these aid in our healthy being um, it is um, you know, it is an enhancer. It can help you. And there again, you know, it cannot. So that's why you have to talk it over with your doctor. Either that or do a whole lot of research. And I don't, uh, this is not my writing. And I want you all to know that. But um, this is stuff that I've found on the internet. And 
Uh, it, I'm always looking for things. If it's good for you on the inside, it's good for your skin on the outside. And we all know that our skin is the largest organ in our body. And it does a lot of things other than cover your bones or cover your muscles and tissues and ligaments and all that. It's The skin is not just a covering of our skeletal system and our muscular system, but the skin actually breathes. It takes in um, things from the air and it like environmentally wise or if you're using good soaps it will like shea butter. Shea butter has the ability to soak through or be absorbed through I should say all three layers of the skin. It's the dermis, the epidermis, and the subcutaneous. So when you use shea butter, it has the ability to do that. It probably depends the quality and is it refined, unrefined, and things like that. Those are factors all to take into consideration. But the skin can absorb things. Um, sunlight, uh, vitamin D from the sun, um, you know, water, uh, you, ha you should wash or your skin gets dry. Um, people that don't wash, they'd have dry skin. Now the skin also, it helps eliminate waste. The kidneys help in, in your bowels through your digestion, that too. But we sweat through our skin. The pores in our skin, they can't be clogged or you have a hard time sweating. And with all the other systems in our body, the skin is very important because not only do we um, get rid of body fluids, like say sweat, but we can also absorb, and that's all the skin. So we are what we eat, and if, uh, you know, being ever so conscious of what we eat or what we put on our skin, and you certainly don't want a bunch of chemicals from that store-bought soap. And that's why we all make soap. But, um, okay, back to the kelp. So, uh, the herbal extract, the kelp herbal extract is soothing for the sensitive digestive system. It aids in treatment of recurrent constipation or gastric bloating. Um, it helps the circulatory system. It helps to lower cholesterol. It's helpful for treating headaches, ulcers, stress, kidney malfunctions, and sometimes depression. Kelp liquid extract is especially useful as, woman, as a woman's vitamin because it's high in iron, calcium, and potassium, all which tend to lead um, tend to be essential for women during menstruation. Kelp is high in magnesium, which helps promote better sleep in women going through menopause. Kelp li liquid supplements are among the highest sources of vitamins and minerals. Actually, there are 70 elements and minerals besides iodine in sea kelp. Iodine helps uh, make sure that your thyroid is working at its best and that your body has improved metabolism, energy, and growth. Iodine kills infections and bacteria that attack our bodies. It, it, this is a critical element. Um, if it is lacking in the diet, the deficiency may lead to thyroid malfunction, causing underactive or overactive thyroid gland which is a goiter, usually non-cancerous, but um, visible by the swelling on the front of the neck and associated with iodine deficiency, has been said to be effective with the treatment of using uh, kelp as a supplement. It has also been said to uh, dissolve firm masses, lumps, ease swelling, reduce edema, all which can be caused by the malfunction of the thyroid gland. Uh, it's good in obesity disorders. Um, it is, uh, the nu nutritionists assume um, that by stimulating the thyroid function, kelp increases metabolism and the rate of which the body uses energy and consequently decreases fat deposits. Um, for the skin, oh, strep, strep throat. It, uh, strep throat is caused by streptococci bacteria and must be treated with natural antibiotics and prescriptions. 
there are some powerful natural antibiotics which work well at killing bacteria in kelp, but uh, kelp is used uh, is the best to use for killing strep bacteria, and um, it is rich in iodine, which kills the bacteria and other disease-causing organisms. Uh, sea kelp works as a toxin scavenger in the body. It helps to balance your body's pH levels and build your immune system to fight off viruses. The thyroid is the main consumer of iodine, but breast tissue can also benefit from additional iodine intake. The level of calcium in kelp can help prevent osteoporosis and strengthen the bones. Breast cancer is one of the most familiar health risks women face. A diet containing kelp supplements may decrease the risk of estrogen dependent diseases such as breast cancer in humans. Kelp is able to help limit the amount of cancer cells released into the bloodstream and can also help to limit, to limit tumor growth. Kelp has been studied in Japan and is believed to prevent fibrotic breasts, fibro, fibrocystic breasts and malignant cells. Kelp has, has been thought to absorb and remove drugs, chemicals, heavy metals, and radioactive um, elements from the body. Herbalists claim that kelp's active ingredient, sodium alginate, binds these toxins in the gastrointestinal tract preventing their absorption in the body. Uh, so um, there are 70 trace elements and major minerals including iodine, calcium, magnesium, potassium, iron, silicone, phosphorus, manganese, zinc, vitamin B1, B2, B3, A, C, E, G, S, and K. And um, it is also very good for the skin. Um, there is a little thing here. Where is it? Um, there was a little paragraph here about the skin that I wanted to re read to you, but um, my battery is getting weaker here. So, uh, well, anyway, kelp not only does wonders inside the body, it also works its magic on the skin. It thoroughly moisturizes the skin and many of the benefits of kelp liquid herbal extract can help the skin look much younger, even glowing. Kelp's um, rich supply of nutrients and ability to balance and strengthen overall body function helps to promote healthy growth of hair and nails. It has been uh, used to reduce hair loss. Those who want to grow healthy hair without medical intervention should consider natural supp supplements such as kelp. So it goes on and on and on. And um, if um, uh, it's real interesting, though, and for people like us that make soap, um, this is uh, really good to know that how good kelp is and why why would we make kelp soap? And it's because of all the benefits. Um, that it has to offer and always consult with your doctor always check out things before you you just don't just jump in and do things um, but this is just a little bit of to let you know and then research it on your own type in uh, your um, kelp um, sea kelp uh, Atlantic sea kelp or um, there's from the oceans either oceans um, but um, type it in and see the benefits, the benefits of sea kelp, and um, it will bring up all sorts of pages for you to read. Okay, so that's it. I'll see you tomorrow for the cutting of the kelp soap, and you have a great day.